check it. When you are dealing with anyone that's narcissistic, it don't have to be a husband or a wife. It can be family members, which this is what people are afraid to talk about is the narcissistic family members. And I see a lot of people that fold because of them really spilling out the true truth about their family dysfunctions that they um, have to battle with all the narcissistic family members. And sometimes it comes down to uh, battling with the one that you thought you loved the most. And that's the one that is gonna be the hardest for you to really actually destroy because that's the one you actually thought that truly loved that you out of everybody in the family dysfunctional circle. And that person nine times out of 10 will be your sibling. Now, when you're dealing with, excuse me, cause I got a lot of what I drink. When you're dealing with a narcissistic sibling, the one that I, I made this before, I talked about this one time or two times maybe, but I haven't talked about it extremists today. And you have that one that they call the golden child. We're supposed to be the scapegoats, as they call it. But it's not that. It's just the one that is chosen to break the generational curse. They are going to get the worst backlash. I mean, worst feedback from the entire family. And nine times out of ten, they're going to use the one that is always dominated or the ones that they have built up or created to, you know, tear down the other siblings, regardless if they are men or women. If you got a brother or brothers, they normally tear down the sisters. If you got sisters, they normally war with the brothers. But um, that's another effect on why majority relationships don't go the way they want to go as well. Once you go outside the world and try to get into a relationship with a man nor a woman, that is another reason why us women and we had male siblings, that is another reason why a lot of us as women you know, fall victim or fall very vulnerable to a man in a relationship when we get in a relationship because a lot of brothers are very damaging to their sisters. They are very disrespectful to women, period. So it doesn't matter what the title is. Like I always say, the title does not matter. And that's what I want y'all to focus on. Give me one more minute. I drink lots of water. I was going through this depression and taking these meds and talking and doing all this extra stuff. But um, that's what I want Regardless if they're brother, father, uncle, cousin, male cousin, any family member that has the, a title and they're males, they have a tendency of want to win 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 all the time no matter if you are a male or a female so if you challenge their ego their grandiose ego in their mindset you are just like everybody else you are a target you did not go along with my delusions you did not go along with my lies or you don't want to be part of my team you don't want to go along with my game so now you have to suffer like everybody else suffers well, if you're a woman like I am a woman, no one makes me suffer. Mm -hmm. Only one make me suffer is Christ telling and exposing the truth. And I'm not even suffering for that part because now I know what I got to go through and I know what I got to do. I no longer suffer because now I know darkness games and I know that it doesn't matter the title that's why when we get in a relationships once again women and men we have a tendency of taking what we have inside of us that's suppressed and we take it into the homes and we start targeting our partners you know our partners start becoming a victim 
of what we've been producing all along. And they wondering why. You might meet somebody that never ever had a family tragedy or their family do communicate and they do keep things on the table. I'm not saying there's not such a family out there, it is. But majority, no, because there's always a ringleader. There's always a Goliath. There's always a soul in the family. So guess what? We are the Pauls. We are the Roots. We are the Esters. We are the Boaz. We are, we're not playing. We're, we know the game. We know the smear campaigns. We know the rages, we know the temper tantrums, we know um, what is the manipulation, the passive aggressive. Um, they got so much stuff out, like all these actions that they play because they seek in t attention. And if you don't give them attention, they are gonna play dirty. Regardless if you sister or brother, mother or father, grandparent, I don't care, anybody can get it. Because if they are being used to being enabled, meaning when I say enable, you're believing their delusional lies and you're going along with their games. And then when you say game over, I'm done discord, they cannot take being discarded. They are crying out to you, telling you, please come rescue me. Why did you do this? You know, I don't know. After a while, you do know, my lady and my man. That's what you tell them. After a while, you do know. So now you want to know. I'm permanently disconnecting from you at no point of return yeah they're gonna turn the heat up higher they're gonna get more crazier they're gonna say more things more people gonna get more fear in them around them but guess what you stand on your business family or no family never let anyone bully you into keeping them in your life i don't care who they are because you are too precious hear me when i tell you you are too precious too beautiful too, too, too bright to let anyone dim your light now. You're too bright for it. And if you let them dim your light, okay, get your light back up. Go get you some more oil. Get away. Stay. Like they say, gray rock them, no contact. Let them go crazy. Let them smear your name. Let them lie on them. Let them tell people whatever they want. Pay those type of people no attention because they are seeking attention. And when they don't get attention, they do any and everything just to get someone to pay them attention. So, give me a minute. And actually, it's one something in the morning. 124. I just got up. I went to bed. My depression kicks in. I go to bed. I love to sleep off the depression. But anyways, yes. Um... It's just going to be, they, it's just a test. Like, you know, I act up. I said my, I said whatever I had to say. That's it. I have no more else to say to no one. If you don't, if you have no growth in my life, why are you here? You are not going to stop me. I have been through too much. And you have to tell yourself, I have been through too much pain. You had to look all up in the air. You see, I do my eyes. You've been through too much pain, child. Just sit here and play. Boy and girl games with you, my ladies and my, my men. You know, you just how you had to just talk to them. Look beyond the titles because a lot of family members feel entitled to your life. They're just like any other narcissistic person. They want to be clingy because they can't do it on their own. They going to fall in the pit. But guess what? That's their choice. It's not your choice. It's not even your choice to even take care of your siblings. You're supposed to have a beautiful relationship with your siblings. But because... The family dysfunction is so screwed up. Everything is backwards. It's hard to rearrange it forward. But guess what? Us chosen ones don't give up. We don't care. We're going to die trying. So if we die going out, oh, well, we try. We don't quit. So when you stand up against family members, when you're trying to change the the bloodline, you're going to have all kinds of things coming at you. Just, just like if you're in a workplace that's very toxic, full of uh, toxic people, it's narcissistic people are just toxic people are toxic unhealed people are unhealed people they spit the same lines and words if you if you just look at the cycle of what they talk about y'all will stop paying the words that they say any attention okay 
But when a narcissistic person go on rage, they don't care who they target. You got me? Stand on your business, please.